What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a girl feel more comfortable with you. In my experience from doing this for a while, I find that comfort is hugely important. In fact, I would say that comfort can sometimes be more important than attraction. Meaning even when I'm out sometimes, like not just for relationships, but even when I'm out, I will see if a girl's attracted to two guys and I'm one of them, even if she's attracted to me more, she will go with the guy that she feels more comfortable with a lot of times. And so this is incredibly important. I get a lot of emails from students, from clients, um, from viewers of my channel that talk about this and they want to help themselves be more comfortable with women. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all the things that I think are make a guy more comfortable, sorry, make a woman more comfortable with a guy, the things that you can start doing right now, these are all practical tips that I'm gonna be going over in this video. Okay, so before I get into that, if you guys are in San Francisco, I am going to be there this Thursday, well, I'm actually right here now, uh, I'm gonna be doing a talk this Thursday at 7 p.m. at the Hilton in Union Square. Um, the event page is down below. If you click on my description and follow the link there, that will take you to the event page. I'm also gonna put it as a comment too. Would love to meet you guys. Okay, so let's talk about the first tip to get women to feel more comfortable with you. The first one is you feel more comfortable yourself. There's a huge rule when it comes to dating relationships and, and getting girls in general, or person-to-person -person interactions, okay? Whatever you feel, she feels. If you feel nervous and insecure and uncomfortable, she's gonna feel that way too. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Lloyd, I didn't click on this video because I already felt comfortable talking to women. I clicked because I don't feel comfortable talking to women and I wanna help them feel comfortable. I understand that. So, I'm gonna tell you, give you a couple quick tips on how to look like you're more comfortable and a lot of it comes down to body language. So if you walk up to the girl and you have poor posture, you're closed in, that does not make you look confident or, or comfortable, okay? It makes you look uncomfortable, like you're up to something. So stand up straight, good posture, don't fidget around. A lot of, sometimes guys are doing crazy stuff all over the place. Uh, move less, okay? Stay centered, move less. You can use gestures like I do, but just stay centered. And I would actually recommend that you lean back a little bit, okay? Lean back when you're talking to the girl. The reason, well, not maybe not that much, maybe like, probably around there. Um, the reason why you wanna do this is because if you're hovering over her, like if she's over here, if you're getting like really close into her, that's gonna freak her out. So it's much more relaxed if you just kind of have that body language where you're kind of like lean, slightly lean back a little bit, standing up straight, that's gonna make you feel more comfortable and it just generally makes you look more badass too. So uh, that is gonna help you out a lot. Now, thing two, is listen. When she's talking, listen to her. If you're just talking the whole time and you're not worrying about her thoughts, feelings, and emotions, she's probably not gonna think you're a very trustworthy guy. She's not gonna feel comfortable with you, okay? Make it, no, don't make it seem, listen to her and you know show her that her thoughts and feelings do matter, okay? Number three is lead. Women do not wanna be around a guy that is looking to them for what to do. You gotta be in charge of that. Guys who are looking to them for what to do next, um, or what the next response is, or looking to them to reinitiate the conversation, like, that, women don't like that. That generally freaks them out, okay? It means that you don't have a plan, and you don't know what you're doing. And women don't wanna be around that kind of guy. They wanna be around a capable guy who can lead, who can um, do that sort of stuff. So leading the conversation, leading them to different areas, all of that stuff is pretty important. I talk a lot about this on the channel. Now, leading the conversation doesn't mean dominating the conversation, but it does mean being curious about her, being interested. Like I said, listening as well too, that can be part of it as well. Um, asking her questions, uh, those types of things. Okay, remember, lead. Don't look to her, okay? Because she's gonna look back at you and be like, what dude, you're the one who's supposed to, you're the guy. <laughs> All right, so uh, lead. Number four is uh, mirror her, okay? When I mean mirroring her, I mean that certain people, like if she doesn't swear a whole lot and you come in cussing up a storm, probably gonna make her feel a little bit uncomfortable. If she's kind of a quiet, shy person and you come in yelling and screaming, probably gonna make her feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but also too, if she's a very gregarious and outgoing and expressive person and you're not expressive at all, you're very closed off, that's probably gonna make her feel uncomfortable too. So you wanna kind of mirror her a little bit at the beginning. You know, you don't have to completely sacrifice your personality, 
but I would kind of try and meet her in the little uh, meet her in the middle a little bit. So for example, if you walk up to a girl and her energy level is here, I would try coming in with your energy level maybe just slightly higher, okay? I always like to bring people's energy up when I'm talking to them, be more positive. Um, but you don't want to go all the start coming up here or way down here. I mean, coming close to her but a little higher. Okay. Uh, so that's mirroring. The next thing is don't judge her. If she feels like you're judging her while you're talking to her, she's not going to feel comfortable with you. Why would anybody feel comfortable with someone who feels like they're being judged constantly? You know, I mean, maybe if, if she thought that you were giving nonstop positive judgments, that would be good. But generally, that's not what people are thinking. People are thinking, oh, this guy's judging me. You know, he's probably thinking negative things. So uh, don't judge her. Don't make her feel like she's being criticized or judged. Uh, any of those types of things are, is really going to prevent a woman from feeling comfortable with you. Okay, all right, the next thing is ask her questions. This is a big one, you guys. For a lot of you who are just talking all the time yourself, if you aren't curious about the girl, you don't wanna know more about her, um, she's probably not gonna feel very comfortable with you, okay? So again, this comes down to leading the conversation and all of those things that I've talked about previously, but asking her questions really helps. You know, being curious, knowing more about her. The more that you know, excuse me, the more that you know about her, the more likely it is she's gonna feel comfortable with you. Um, all right, also, don't take advantage of her, okay? I'm all for physical contact. I'm all for, you know, pursuing a girl. I am not for pursuing a girl when you're taking advantage of them. So what do I mean by this? I mean, when a guy is talking to a girl and he sees like a little sliver of like, she's kind of interested in me and he just goes full all in, like, you know, maybe she only wanted a quick kiss and he's just like groping her and making out with her for like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. A lot of times that girl's going to run away back to her friends. You're going to freak her out. So what I would recommend doing in that period of time is instead of just like sticking your tongue down her throat and getting the biggest make out you possibly can, give her a little bit of a kiss and then back off and, and let her come to you. You know, that's going to make her feel more comfortable and make her feel more likely to initiate things with you. Um, this doesn't mean don't pursue her, but this does mean hang back a little bit uh, and letting her come to you and don't being too overly aggressive. Okay, uh, again, I'm all for physical contact, but I'm not for taking advantage of a woman. And even if you're doing this from a purely selfish standpoint, like you don't care about her thoughts and feelings, it's still the best thing for you uh, to be successful. Okay, so uh, the, the second to last one, actually the third to last one, is being playful, playfully positive. Okay. You want to be playful and positive when the, with the girl that you're talking to there. You don't want to be too serious. A lot of times guys will come in and want to have like serious conversations about stuff. And that's cool, man. Serious conversations are great. But uh, generally, they will make the girl feel a little bit more, um, it feels a little bit more judgy. Uh, and she just wants to have fun and smile. And the more playful you are, the more comfortable she's going to feel with you. Okay, She doesn't want to be serious all the time and feel like she's in class or at work or something like that. So yeah, be playful, man. That, that's what I would say. And also be positive too, because if you introduce negativity, it's going to be pretty tough to come back from that. All right, and the second to last thing is time. A lot of times women are just not gonna feel comfortable with you when you first walk up to them. That's okay. You're a guy, you're bigger than her. She's naturally gonna feel a little bit scared because you can overpower her physically if you want to. But the more time she spends with you, the easier it's going to be for her. Now, different people take different amounts of time to get comfortable with somebody, and, and that's okay. Sometimes it takes them, you know, a few minutes. Other people, it takes them freaking months, dude. You know, those girls take forever, and it's your decision whether you want to take that long of a time to, to, to have her be comfortable with you. Um, but again, time is really the factor here. You know, whether it's that long period or a super long time, time will help. You know, the longer a girl spends with you, the more comfortable she's going to feel with you. And different people take different amounts of time to feel comfortable with somebody. Like, I would generally think if you have a lot of differences, like differences in personality or cultures or whatever, you might take a little bit longer to feel comfortable. Sorry, she might feel a little bit, she might take a little bit longer to feel comfortable with you. But, but generally, you know, eventually she will. All right, and the last thing I would recommend is to not speak too quickly. I talk really fast. That's one thing that I have to work on. But... For you guys out there, generally, if you start speaking very quickly, it's going to freak people out. I would say, however fast you think you should talk to somebody, generally with my students, I try and recommend shoot for about a third of that speed, uh, and you'll come out to be around right.
All right, cool. Well, those are the tips that I have, man. If you guys have any more tips, put them in the comment section below. Again, you guys, if you're in San Francisco, I'm going to be there 7 to 10 p.m. at the Hilton Union Square on Thursday. Let's go. It's almost Valentine's Day, you guys. Let's make this a fun weekend. All right, thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.